I am on the chain there. Oh! The panda card is not set. Look at it. It's just gone. It's gone flat. Oh my god. We've got 10 minutes left before we have to serve these panna cottas and we're running out of time. And we need these panna to set. I'll pick up all the other trays of panna cotta and put it straight into the blast chiller. If these panna don't set in the blast chiller, we won't have any dessert to serve for our guests. Smiles. Absolutely. We're Italian today. There you go. Save the best for last. Buddy. Enjoy it, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. We get to the end of the mains. Put my last plates down. They're done. There we go. 40 mains. Mains are done. Mains are done. That's it. That's it. Oh, no, more. Oh, no, no, no. Nah, that's it. We're done. Oh, we're done. We're done. We're done. I go back and tell Sarah, all done. Are we absolutely positive? Can you please just check that we are absolutely positive? Just to double check, I walk back out onto the floor. I'm looking at the tables and counting in my head. Done that one, done that one, done that one, done that one. Yep, yeah, done, done, done. Let's clear this off. I'm fairly confident that I've counted them all. We're looking around and everyone else seems to have their food, but we haven't received ours yet, so we're getting a little hungry. Now that we've finished serving our mains, we can finally move on to getting this strawberry mascarpone dessert out to the diners. Put Campari in the strawberry gel. You know the smell? Oh, yeah. yeah? It's like a, almost like a contra. Yeah, almost, exactly. Yeah. So, like, bit of, bit of orange flavour. Just going to put a little bit in the strawberry gel. I love just a that. Touch. I love that. Yeah? That's really cool. Oh, well, this is so nerve-wracking. As I'm macerating the strawberries, instead of using lime juice like I would usually do at home, I'd use the Campari. How's it taste? That stuff's really bitter. How sweet is everything else? The ice cream's quite sweet. Yep, yeah, beautiful. Maybe we should go careful with the strawberries. As we're plating up, I'm a little bit worried. Strawberries, strawberries! There, the strawberries The strawberries have gone on the plate, but also some of the syrup from the strawberries has gone on the plate, which wasn't what I was intending when I macerated the strawberries. Ah! But in the frantic last minute, it just got on the plate. Sorry. Let's get the red team's dessert in. Mascarpone ice cream, some fresh strawberries, strawberry gel, and a basil oil. <laughs> Massimo, yours looks absolutely beautiful. The idea's there, it's beautiful. I like the idea of the ice cream coming as a sphere, I think that looks good. Strawberry juice. That's Campari. They made a Campari yeah. syrup. I think the idea is a good one. Mascarpone ice cream, a little soft cake, you know, the basil oil, the fresh strawberries. That's a good idea. Flavours all work. The strawberries I had were like really like in your face acidic. Yeah. The undeniable truth, isn't it? The strawberry doesn't work. I'm relieved that the mains are gone out but then I know that the dessert's coming my way, so it's all just gonna amp up again. Ice cream's almost done. My next job is the figs. We need them candied, so put a bit of sugar on them and get the blowtorch out and just caramelise the sugar. The caramel is perfect on them and it's got a lovely toffee flavour to it. It's nice and crunchy, whereas the figs are still quite fresh and raw. Um, so the combination actually works really beautiful and they're really delicious. All right, guys, the first dessert needs to go out. Take my ice cream out of the ice cream churners. I'm not entirely sure what's happened, but it's quite lumpy. Check the ice cream, I don't like it. Tomato's frozen in the ice cream. This yeah. isn't gonna work. So I have a bit of a think about it, and I've decided to make a tomato granita. Tomato granita is basically just tomatoes with some sugar and some ice blended up together. Yeah, it's better, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's not have these out longer than they have to because they're going to melt. Ooh. I'm 
peanut panna cotta with fixed mm. tomato ice cream. It looks pretty. Looks pretty. I like the presentation. I think it looks clever. I'm not satisfied on this dessert. What's interesting is with the green team, when I was walking the benches, I tasted their tomato ice cream that was in the churner. Yeah. That's not ice cream, that's a sorbet. Something's happened in there where they've had to change. Well, it's what not goes even a sorbet, dish. George, it's a granita. It's gone icy and the composition of it is wrong, isn't it? Yeah, totally. The best thing on that plate is the fig. Exactly. I love exactly. it. And I don't mind the pine nuts either. Like, if I actually dip the fig in the pine nuts, it's delicious, you know? I love the figs, Gary. I think you're right. They've prepared them beautifully. Yeah. Nice little tinge with the blowtorch. And that pine nut crumb gives it that sort of saltiness yeah. you know, and crunch. Let's get the white team's dessert in. So I've left the panna cotta in the blast chiller as long as I can. Fingers crossed they're set. And they were perfect. That extra time in a blast chiller was our saviour. Basil panna cotta with raspberry coolie. It's all right. The dance of the panna cotta. I love the dance panna cotta. Looks good, looks pretty. Nice colours. That's good. Oh, it's lovely. It's a beautiful texture. Like, really, it's just set. It's room temperature. I can't really criticise that, to be honest. It's a lovely, subtle basil flavour, fresh, acidic raspberries, and a bit of crunch at the end, and I like that. Yeah, I think it's everything that you want out of a panna cotta. Yeah. You know, I'm happy. I'm happy. What I love about it is it's all about one basil panna cotta, and everything else just enhances the flavour of the basil. Yeah. And the basil is, is super fragrant, super fresh. And, and you just then get a little toastiness of the pineapple skin, which is beautiful. Oh, look, 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 look. You see, he's done it again. Look, he's done it again. Oh! Ah, you see? Yummy. And that is a spot on dessert. First team challenge in MasterChef Kitchen. You know, they've never worked together. It's unbelievable, yeah. This is very impressive. That's impressive. Well, white team nailed the first course, nailed the dessert. What more can I say? Brilliant. But, uh, Brilliant. Yeah. Nearly through dessert. I'm going through the tables again, serving tables with their dessert. So for dessert, we've got a pine nut panna cotta. I get to the next table with two desserts, and the lady looks up to me and goes, "James, we haven't got our mains yet." You didn't get the first course. No, we we didn't. Oh, no. The first thing I think is I've just put my whole team into an elimination. It's my fault. Obviously not paying attention. Sorry, guys. Someone didn't get their first calls. You're kidding me. I'm ready to just hit the roof. Didn't we finish main courses like half an hour ago? Yep. So why are we doing mains again? Because apparently four people didn't get their main. Who counted the plates before you started serving? Cannon and cannon, I was counting Don't worry about it, James, people. just happened. Happen. Hi, ladies. Hi. I can't apologise enough for what's happened. Thanks. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Not checked, not checked, but sorry about that. Don't worry, James. Sorry it's okay, it happened. Oh, I'm an idiot. An idiot. I hate the feeling of being useless and putting 
you know, that error onto your whole team. The worst thing is I've let my mates down.